because the kickstand's down. And it's in gear. All right. Oh man, I'm sore. Freaking bend it running with a parachute on my back. Well, that was smart. I guess what we'll talk about today is the new GoPro Hero 4 Season shit balls. What in the world? I don't know why people stop. But let's talk about the new GoPro Hero 4 Season and why I think it is a stupid idea. I think that for what they were advertising that GoPro for, for being smaller and it can be used in more situations. Yes, that's true and I love the idea of it, but that cost for the same price as a Hero Silver, I mean, it doesn't have an external, I, okay, so let me put this straight. I think that that camera is, well, I think the camera is pretty dumb. It, poorly executed, I guess, should be the, the words that I use to describe it because, uh, I mean, Who's gonna buy that camera for moto vlogging? And and I here's the other thing, I saw like a bunch of moto vloggers, like two or three of them, being all up GoPros nuts about, oh man, can't wait to get this one, definitely a buy. What for what? Like it doesn't have a changeable battery. It has no external mic input. What are you gonna do with it? Just strap it to your, like, a, yes, the mounting possibilities that it brings to the table are awesome, but it has less capability than a freaking regular GoPro that you could buy, uh, a Hero Silver that you could buy, and you can't hook a mic up to it. You can't change the battery on it. It honestly does not look like it's as durable as the Hero 3 in its, or the Hero 4, excuse me, in its housing. Like, why would you do that? Why would you just not buy a 4 Silver and go with that? It is a better camera all around. And I've even seen the tests and that camera does very poor, the session does poor in low light. It does not do well in its colors. It's not, its sharpness is not the greatest thing in the world. I mean, like, what, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do with it? Just because you're all up GoPro's ass, because you're like, oh my God, it's the latest thing, I gotta have it. Like, it just annoys me. Like, you don't think about it. Because then you have to go back to what I used to be doing, which is having an external recorder in my pocket. And yes, okay, maybe they're using it as a secondary mount, uh, you know, a secondary mounted camera. That would be fine. I understand that. Like, that could be cool. But again, if you're going on long rides, well, I mean, you can't charge it. What happens when it goes dead? You know, what happens? You, you're, you're just done. You have no other alternative. Whereas with the GoPros, you can buy some, I mean, really cheap alternative batteries. For the price of one GoPro battery, you could buy some of those Wasabi Power ones that, yes, they do not last as long. But I'm using one currently in mine, and it seems to be holding up just fine. And you can get three of those for the price of one GoPro battery. So you could get three times the use out of it versus one shot wonder over here. And if you get the silver, it has an LCD back on it so that you can view what you're framing. So then you know that your footage is even better because you already know what it's gonna look like. Like you can frame it perfectly. Like what the fuck? I, it just, you know, if that GoPro camera had come out at, say, $299, if it came out at $299, I would have been like, it's a pretty dang good deal. $299, it's $100 less. But it's not. It's $399. It's $399. It's what little as makes no difference. It's $400, and you're getting less features for it. You're getting less expandability, and... For what? For less quality than what the silver can do? Because go look at the silver side by sides. The silver does better. You are, and it, I think it works out that it would be better for you to get the Hero, like just the GoPro Hero, the one with the LCD viewfinder on the back of it, but nothing else. It would be more worth your time to get a few of those than it would be to just buy one of those cubes. 
buy one of the sessions and it's just it's beyond me why gopro thought this was a good idea i know because of the mounting options yes i saw they had that like ball head mount for it that looks awesome i think that looks super cool and it's so much smaller it would be just like you could put it on the side of your helmet you could put it on low profile on the top you know what i would like to see is i would love to see them make that same thing in like in like so make the session black edition or the session plus edition and when you make that make it a little bit longer so make it a little bit longer don't have to make it any wider but make it a little bit longer so you can fit in the microphone ports and maybe it's a slide-in battery it's a it's a you know maybe it's a new proprietary battery and it's a slip-in port but then again we're like getting up to how the price is going to increase like where do you get this stuff without keeping it you know keeping it the same price and it just it doesn't make sense to me it's it this is just a rant about why I think it's such a stupid idea because the other part of it is, is like you could buy for moto vlogging. So I'm coming at this from a moto vlogging standpoint. Okay. Um, I think that that camera could be sweet if it was for like mounted on a drone because it's smaller. Like the, what I like about the camera, the pros that I like about the camera right now are that that camera means that the, things are possible, right? Like it means that it's possible to have that square form factor, that tiny form factor. It is possible, which is a good thing because that means for future cameras, for future um, iterations of that camera, we can now get different form factors, right? Like we can get cooler form factors now, better fitting form factors, more mounting options, because it's possible that GoPro can make something like that. Now, will will the features change? I certainly hope so, because the features, you're basically paying more for less out of that. So yeah, sure, you're getting less, you're getting a different form factor to mount it in, but you're, you're paying more money for less features. You don't get the external inputs. You don't get the external outputs. You don't get a changeable battery, for God's sakes. And you'd get less quality for the same price that you could buy something that is better. I mean, it's literally stacking straight up against. The only thing they're betting on is that the form factor of it is different. And it's just not. It's, it's just not a, a game changer. That does not make me want to buy it because I run a three, a Hero 3 Plus Silver. I don't run a black because I'm just more of a run and gun moto vlogger. I don't want, I want the quickest way to connect up, be recording and have it the best quality as possible. Whereas, you know, if I'm running with that, I have to do even more things and it's less quality than what the current silver is. I, I don't know. I haven't, I can't test it against my current setup, but like I said, you could go buy, like if you wanted to, I could go buy one of my cameras that I currently have and I could honestly... I could probably even buy two of them and I could still have more money in my pocket than if I were to buy that session and it just doesn't make sense to me. I just wish, you know, I really wish GoPro would come out with a different mount or a different, just a, I like the interchangeability of it but it is very limited in the way that it mounts and it pivots. You know, what would, I would like to see is if they came up with a case for it that is like its current case is, but on the back, the, so the center in the back plate of it, the center, I want to see them have a mount right there. And then I want to see them have a ball head mount that's a quick adjustable one that's maybe it's got like springs or something on it that you know you squeeze or something so you can pivot the ball head and so that way you can have a really quick easily adjustable things uh, but you don't have to have this stupid pivot right here on the bottom of it and you don't have to fuss with this stupid little twist thing or any of that stuff to just position it it's clipped it on put you know something like that to change it because this just annoys me the, the mount just annoys me a lot of the time and i really would love to see a different way to mount it because then well that wouldn't really make any difference for the side mounting because man i'll tell you that that drift i'm really hoping that the drift comes out with a 
better, like, uh, just a newer camera this year that they announced that does a little bit better. Ooh, Mach 1. But it does a little bit better uh, job of, of recording than the current one does because I believe the current one does only no I think there is there's the is it the ghost HD or the ghost s I can't remember that does uh, 1080 60 because ugh, road snake that does the because uh, my biggest issue is I need to have something that does 1080 at 60 I could care less about 4k it would be cool but I mean how many people's computers can decode a full 4k and play it back perfectly like I uh, the computer I use at my job that my company has for me to make cinema ads and for me to make video productions can't even fully decode a YouTube 4k video it stutters and it stops and it stumbles while it's going through it so I I mean if that if a company with that much money can't have a computer that plays that back really well then what would be the point of having 4k I'd really love to get a drift and be able to stick it on the side of my camera because then it would look a less dorky than this thing does sticking out of the front of me and B I think it would be a little bit easier to use um, to simply because it's a I just like I like the I like the on top and I like the on the side so I don't know which one I would use what I love the GoPro for and I would still use the GoPro for is a uh, like other mounts I like putting in different positions on my on my bike because I think that right there is what the GoPro is made for I mean I could suction cup uh, a GoPro to the to my tank I could suction cup one to the side down here and I could have it sticking out on the side of it I think that would be sweet I would love for them to make like a moto pack where it's like a stealth black case on the GoPro because I just love the stealth black case it looks a lot less dumb than this clear like you know it's like to me it looks like the controllers that you got for your PlayStation or your N64 that were like opaque and you could see all the, the wires and stuff inside I feel like I look really really dorky with this on my face because of that but if it was black it would be like oh okay like it just it would just fit in more with my apparel but that being said I think that the reason I think that the session being made shows that GoPro is trying to come up with something cooler, something different, and something that will be easier to what is in the road up here, a bucket. Something that will be easier um, to mount and is a better form factor. And I think that's great. I think that's awesome. I just think that the hero session has poor execution. You know, I think that it's for moto vlogging and in general, the price of it, you drop that price a hundred dollars and we'll talk. Like you drop that a hundred bucks and I'd be like, yes, $300 for that I think is a great price for it. But $400 I think is a stupid price for that since you can get so much more for your money in so many different options. It's just beyond me, but I'm hesitating on looking at a hero black because the black edition to me, is wow that is a does not look like that is a 16 year old girl driving that car it looks like she's about 11 but the hero to me just the hero black to me just has too many bugs right now i've seen sean smokes having issues with it some people don't and i like that but i'm i still love my my silver my three plus silver and we're gonna see what happens with it i got a new memory card coming and i got a couple things going on so we'll figure it out but i just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, riding with me. We're back home now, and I'll see you guys later.